good morning. It's the 21st of December. Or the 11 to 10. 21st. That's not the coffee from yesterday's calendar, by the way. This is just normal coffee. Yes. Um, the lizard calendar has gone. And that's because I thought there's only a few days left and it's rubbish day uh, tomorrow. So we've got to put the rubbish out tonight. And I want to put that massive box in the recycling and not have it hanging around. So I've actually emptied out the calendar. Does that mean I'm going to hell? Does it, Shizuma? Huh? Am I a naughty girl with fun to not come now? Do you want to come up? Shizuma? You're allowed? Shizuma? Yeah, I don't know. Because this is Azumi's territory. Shizuma's always a bit like, <gasps> I'm not allowed in here. But she is allowed. Anyways. So, in today's laser calendar would have been another one of these chewy bar things, which are very chewy. Hmm. They're all right. They just need like some chocolate or something in there. And, uh, you know, but they're okay. They're okay. They're not the nicest low carb bar I've had, but they'll do. Oh, um, yeah. Anyways, on to nicer things. We get to do the second to last one of this calendar. Oh. And today, oh, that's pretty. I think it's a it's a little compact mirror by the looks of it. It is indeed. Can you see you? No, because you're not really there. It's me. Oh, ooh. <laughs> but there we go, a little compact mirror. Probably not something I would use. That's probably going to end up um, maybe on its way to a charity shop or something because I have a compact with powder with a mirror in it. You know? It's one of those filler gifts in the advent calendar, isn't it? Because, you know, they can't, it can't all be gold and lipstick. Susan, what you do? Crazy kittens. Crazy kittens. Right. So we have to bake some cookies today because that was the challenge from yesterday. And today are oh, nice warm socks. Oh, yes, please. Read a Christmas story. Put your feet up for a few hours with a good book and a glass of something festive. Ashley. I am so on board with that one. <laughs> oh yes. I don't even think I'm gonna get dressed today. I'm in my loungewear. That's as dressed as I need to be, isn't it? There you go. I'm looking pretty. And it's a white chocolate and raspberry present, so that can just go there. That has been the most, um, of calendars I like the gingerbread one and the Christmas present one which I think is also ginger and then the rest have been a bit like uh, I'm okay thanks the minty the minty ones are okay and the chili santas are okay but the white chocolate ones I didn't like at all no 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 So let's do today's scent. Shizuma, what's the matter, little bub? I'll put you some more food down. Oh, she's so cute. We've got McDonald's coming in like about five minutes. Mum likes a bacon roll from her. That's the only thing she likes from McDonald's. So we're having bacon rolls. Oh, it's a monsoon one. Isn't that pretty? That's pretty packing, isn't it? Got a little monsoon scent. Sophisticated and elegant. Oh, that's definitely me. For sure. OK, 
כמה? כמה? Oh, no, that's lovely. Very kind of spicy-ish. Mm, no, I like that one. What's it say it's in that? Neroli and bergamot with the delicate sweetness of lychee. There we go. It says more Moroccan. Moroccan rose oil. Eastern spice and hot amber. It is rather lovely, that one. Fair play. Nice. And then from the Shannon, there's, oh, I've got a bit. Okay. Is it, did I break it? Oh no. It's my favorite thing. It's a bag of jewelry. Well, in that case, I think we need to do it justice and do a little bit of an eyes down. We'll be back soon. And it's breakfast, got breakfast roll and a hash brown and a coffee. And at mum's off happy with her bacon roll with extra bacon. So, so this the Simon, Simon Callow. Not that yes. So and he is reading, effect. sort of, um, a Christmas carol. And this is on BBC iPlayer at the moment. So this is my Christmas story reading of the day with my feet up. I haven't got my festive drink, it's all the way over there. But this will do. And relax. Hey, good afternoon. I had a little nap whilst listening to um, Christmas Carol, because it's fabulous. And then I found this necklace and I'm like, oh, it kind of goes with this. And then I look all proper luxuriant, don't I? <laughs> And my lovely um, enamel heart necklace. That's my that was my keeper from a while ago. And and oh, and this is my new uh, nose ring that uh, uh, that was a Christmas present. It's like barbed wire from Carla and Nat. Isn't that cool? Yay! And the other Christmas presents I got down there in that box as well. But I'll probably show them in an, in another video when like I've got all Christmas presents and things together. Um, I did buy a few things while I was down in Bristol. Well, first of all, we, we went dumpster diving. Never done it before. Sort of dumpster diving. There's the... Um, near where Carla lives, there's like a Salvation Army shop. And there was a bin next to it. You know, one of the big dumpster bins. And they had thrown a whole bunch of stuff in there. Like there was a broken lamp and there was some wallpaper that Carla got, which is obviously good for you know, void fill and things. And and I got this, I picked this out of it. It's one of them like massage things. Oh, it's quite nice. And um, it was helping me that night when I had quite bad restless leg to just sit there and do that. So that was quite kind of helping. So, so that I just picked it out of the bin. It's a freebie, you know, <laughs> there we go. Other things that I bought, I think, uh, how much was this? This was £3.50. It's sort of new with tags, but it's not new. And it's sort of a copy of an Hermes bag. Um, but they still sell, like, of their own, right? Um, I really like the, the nice clasp on it. That is quite Hermes there, see, like, with the, the rivets. It's quite nice. And, yeah, it's never been used. It's still got, like, the big chunk of... Um, polystyrene stuff in the middle um yeah so that's kind of groovy there's a few on ebay um not many of them have sold and not many of them are new with tags if you see what i mean i'm gonna go for 25 30 quid on that um because i just think it's it's sort of cool and then something that is designer i got some christian lacroix but just a christian lacroix notebook and i know they don't go for loads because i've bought Christian, I've got three Christian Lacroix notebooks before because I really like the covers on them. Um, but Lacroix, sweetie, Lacroix. So um, I think I'm going to give this to my friend Scott. Even though, actually, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. What am I on about? Of course, I'm not going to give it to Scott. This is like a day to day agenda type thing where he writes things down, and Scott is not that person at all. Scott has everything in a synced up Google calendar 
which is you know on his on his you know apple watch and his car can remind him of things and his house knows when he's turning up and opens the door automatically for him there's no way that scott will use um a paper agenda so actually i don't know who this is going to go to but la croix sweetie it was 1.99 so i had to for two pounds i bought this little stamping kit um, yeah, Santoro London. Now I've sold some notebooks that I bought for 50p and I sold them for like eight pounds. So I'm hoping that two pounds will turn into 15, 20 on these. Again, these are brand new. They've never been like out of their packaging, but the packaging is just looking a little bit like, I don't know. It's got, you know, the surface scratches and things like that on it. Um, but it's cute and it's got its ink pad and stuff. So um, nice a little crafter out there for and they're cute there they're like they're a little bit emo and stuff and so I kind of like it and then for 2 99 I got this well it is a mirror it's a mirror look at this you again there you are um but yeah and this like bamboo so a vanity mirror so you would stand there um, and then there is another side, but that's not a mirror. That looks like, you know, you could put a picture in it. So that's kind of cool. So I would hope for, I don't know, 25, 30 on that one. So that's all right. So that was stuff from the charity shops. From Car Boot, I bought two bits of jewelry, <coughs> 50 pence each, two bangles. One of them is this crazy fluorescent bangle which I just thought was fun you know it's just neon it's just fun there's a couple of scratches on it um but nothing can you even see that nothing major and I'll show you the other bangle in a sparkly things video which I'll do at some point soon but yeah I just thought that was fun a bit clubber but yeah I spent Six pounds of that car boot sale, five pounds of which was at the very first store, <laughs> and is actually a really good buy. So I bought a whole bunch, and there's two bags of vintage erasers. And I mean, like the ones that you remember from your childhood. Hello, Azzy, you come to see? Of the ones that you used to collect, and there is so many. And then we've got like little brand ones and little packs of ones. Lots of these are made in Japan, which is good. It means they're probably like 70s, 80s. Um, some of them are scented. There's little sets of ones. Basically, my five pounds is, it's more than absolutely safe. It is going to turn into... Possibly, I reckon, maybe about £300, which is crazy. I mean, look at that. This is 1970-something, Tom and Jerry. I mean, that's probably a fiver just on its own. It's crazy, isn't it? Absolutely crazy. Honestly, look up vintage erasers and sort from, like, highest to lowest, and you'll go, oh, my God, I can't believe that, that people spend that money on that nuts isn't it so some i'll probably do as auctions i might even do them all as auctions and just go crazy remember like how i did with that with the boys toy stuff and i just you know did like an auction every minute maybe at some point i'll do that wouldn't that be bonkers um but i've got to yeah sort all this fun out so that might be my plan for this afternoon but I do also have to film a cheeky little unbagging because I've got um, a couple of kilos of jewellery that got delivered earlier. And I have a Keto Crave kit. And considering that it is now the week running up to Christmas and that I'm hardly going to be doing Keto right now, not with Lebhuchen around, isn't it, Azumi? Yes. Come here. Come here. Yes. Um. Yeah. It's hard. I'm not in ketosis at the moment. Definitely not. 
Not with so much yummy, naughty food around. But my plan is, and I'm looking forward to doing it actually, is from probably Boxing Day, depending on how much leftover food there is, is getting straight back on the keto. So I will be filming that video <laughs> as me. You're a bugger. So I probably will be filming that video as well, but um, I might put that out like after Christmas when we're thinking more with our diet head on. But I might still film it now. But yeah, so I've got a couple of things to do this afternoon. So I'm not sure about baking the biscuits, actually. Sorry, Ashley, I know. But I do still like the idea of filling the house with festive bake smells. I'll come back to you with that. Hmm. And we've got to say thank you to Kev, who just sent us a coffee. So thank you very much, Kev. That's very kind of you. Happy Christmas. There you go. This is what we're doing for the biscuity smell today. Because trust me, we have enough treats and things. I don't think I should make any more for now. I will be making some keto ones. Um, after Christmas though so stay tuned for that but it won't be any time very soon anyways yes yeah, so we've got bread and some maple and pecan and some rhubarb and ginger so the house is smelling absolutely lush right now mm -mm. I've sort of managed to to sort out, sort of. That's theme parks. That's new stuff. And that's new stuff as in still wrapped and things. And then there's loads of just cool, like, interesting bits. I've got a load of Mr. Men and Little Miss. I reckon I should be able to get like 30 quid just for that lot alone. Loads of these like vintage Stadler ones, which are pretty cool from like the 80s, even got, look, isn't that awesome? Uh, random bits, some like what look like holly hobby kind of things, like the Hulk, Dartmoor, little and large, 007, some very vintage 1970, just three of the seven dwarves. And um, there's a complete set going on eBay for 60 quid. These Kakeshi doll erasers, how awesome are they? I reckon, I reckon a ten are easy on them. These are pretty cool. Love that. Um, some Noddy, Winnie the Pooh. A set of these have gone for like twenty pounds, I think. Some flags, some googly eye things. Just yeah, I reckon I'll do all right from these. Oh, and Graham Sooners. <laughs> Ooh, and this is dinner for tonight, firmly off the keto wagon. Some um, chicken and spinach and ricotta, like Kiev type things. Broccoli, potato wedges and tomatoes and some crêpe au Lovely. And now I'm just waiting for the Steve Green, the Steve Green adventure to, to go live. Can't wait. <laughs> and so I'm going to leave you there. Yes, I am. I'm going to leave you right there. Tomorrow I might go into town just for a little wander around. I don't particularly need to buy anything, but I want to take some jam and chutney into the jewellers and also show you a gorgeous ring that's like 
a thousand pounds, but it's beautiful and I kind of love it. That's if it's still there and it hasn't sold. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm going to do that. So you're going to come with me tomorrow, whether you like it or not. Hooray. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed today. And I shall see you tomorrow. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.